Welcome everybody to my seat. I love it when it does this. I'm just oh, I, I, when the air is all up in the seat and then it raises up. It gives you that. Turn left onto Tennessee 63 East. Okay, Google. Gives you that feeling inside your tummy, you know, like you're dropping down a roller coaster. Just a little bit slower though. It takes a little bit for the air to fill up. Mm. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens pretty much daily. Today I don't even I don't even know where I am. I, I don't know where I am. I just woke up, pulled onto the fuel island. I'm getting some fuel real fast before I start my day. But I did get some comments from yesterday's video. Uh, some weird ones, and then a lot of helpful ones. You know, weird ones like the world's going to end and the stars are going to fall from the sky type stuff, which was a little bit odd. But then other ones, other comments from you guys that are stating uh, the beach. I'm, I'm bringing a girl from Idaho to Florida for a weekend and spend some time with her and kind of show her around and, and everything. And, and I asked for advice on what, what I should do. She only has a weekend with me and I don't want to rush everything. And I kind of want it to be relaxing. And we're going to be staying on Universal Studios property. So I, I figured you guys would say, oh, take her to the theme park, take her to City Walk and enjoy some nightlife and stuff like that. But no, a lot of you guys said, take her to the beach. A, a lot of people said the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not a big fan of the Atlantic Ocean. I, 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 I like it. I mean, I like Daytona. I like Cape and, and, and all that stuff. But and Ponce Inlet area. But I'm more of a Gulf person. I live closer to the Gulf of Mexico. And, and I know Orlando is right dead center. I can go either way. Uh, but the beach is, seems to have won. It, it kind of get her next to the water and let her enjoy the stuff like you see on TV. You know, like on TV, I look at the snow and it, it looks amazing. But when I get there, it's not what I picture when I watch the Charlie Brown Christmas special or something. And I'm assuming people that live in the middle of the country up north like that that don't get to see this stuff every day but they see it on TV it looks like paradise and so I don't know if I should give them that that vision because I know where to look for that vision that you see on TV but then there's a lot of places that aren't like that you know it's just the hustle and bustle city life stuff and uh, but the beach is definitely right up there and I think it won I think I'm going to do what you guys say I'm going to take your suggestions, take her to the beach that way if everything falls apart and fails, I'm going to blame you guys I'm going to blame you guys and probably my terrible personality as I inch ever so closer to the Ark Encounter I guess I'm getting close to it I'm not going to stop, don't worry I'm not going to spend $42 on a roadside novelty today it's not going to happen but look how beautiful it is outside. I'm actually fearing for my life for every car that passes me. I just don't trust the cult that lives up here. I'm teasing. They're probably harmless. Probably. It looks like Robin's Bat Bike is not as high tech as Batman himself, but it's still pretty awesome looking. I'm curious, when you guys make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, what do you run out of first usually? Do you run out of the strawberry, or not the strawberry, but the preserves, or do you run out of the peanut butter? And, have you ever used plastic silverware to make the sandwiches? It is lunchtime. But I've noticed something with this stuff, you gotta be really careful, especially when you're getting to the bottom of something. Have you, have you ever, like, uh, had bean dip or salsa or something like that and you're dipping the chips in and they break inside I think these cheap generic forks and knives and stuff could possibly do the same thing but as for peanut butter and jelly this is the first time I think in quite a while where my peanut butter is running out about the same time as my jelly most of the time I always run out of jelly first and peanut butter my peanut butter will usually last like double what one thing of jelly is. I don't know how this worked out this time though. 
but I'm okay with it. Just means I need to go do a little bit more shopping. It is 30 minute break time. I'm up here in Kentucky still, and I am, I don't even know. I've driven, I've only driven 327 miles today. It seems like a lot further, but I have 224 more miles to go. So I need to knock that out. It says, my Google's telling me I'll be there about six o'clock tonight. So we'll just have to see. And tomorrow, when I get done with this, it looks like I'm going to be heading to Minnesota. But I did get notification that I have my scheduled days off ready for August 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. Five full days of Universal Studios fun with a companion, a compadre to hang out with. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I and and the good thing about this company so far is when they say, okay, well, we're going to get you home for these days off. They're usually doing it for the last eight or nine years. What our company used to be, it was hit or miss. You can book an airplane flight somewhere or a cruise somewhere, and they may get you home a day late and you miss your airplane or miss wherever you're supposed to be going. But this new company, they they really they're focused on the drivers, and I'm pretty excited about them. Well, that red line on the road does not look good. I mean, I like the color red, but I think that means something not very good. Oh, never mind. I know what it means now. Well, I mean, I thought it might mean the road might just be crowded because the Ark Encounter is right up here. Maybe all these people are going to the Ark Encounter. River. I love these bridges. Love them, love them, love them, love them. By the way, nobody was taking the exit to the Ark Encounter. Never mind, everybody's heading to King's Island. Not the Creation Museum or Noah's Ark. My mistake. Sorry, Ken Ham. But no matter where they're going, at least it kind of frees up the road where we can do the speed limit. Oh, look through those trees. All the fun. Look at all that funness. And look at that crowd at the parking lot. Yeah, that's what a crowded parking lot looks like. I bet they have at least 8,000 people there. Okay, you think I'm bringing the hate on myself, probably, right, guys? This is why I get trolled. LOL. Oh, what? Why am I saying LOL? I'm not texting. Oh, man. Oh, get out of this truck. I don't even know where I started driving today. I know we did come through Kentucky and pass the Ark Encounter and all that stuff, and but I'm not exactly sure where I... I started driving. I'm, I got 30 minutes left of drive time. I'm just down the road from where I need to be. I'm going to go there. But I realized I haven't really stepped out of my truck today and got any content for you guys. And believe me, I don't think there's any content here in Ohio, neither. This place is pretty dead. But I did catch a billboard. But you, you know when you're driving down the road like at 70 miles an hour and your camera and stuff is down on the ground and you're passing something cool, but you ain't got time to reach down and grab it real fast and set it up and take a picture because you already done blown by, right? But I seen a couple things today that kind of, I, I you know, when, when you get out of Kentucky, you expect certain things in Kentucky and Missouri and places like that. If you guys, if any of you guys are from those states, I, I apologize. I'm not knocking you guys. I just, you expect certain things because people believe different from state to state or county to county. But I didn't think it was like that in Ohio. So I'm coming into Ohio, away from the Ken Ham experience and what is in Kentucky. And I go, oh, cool, back in America again. You know, back in a state where people don't push their beliefs on you and everything else. And, and, and let you be you. What's the first thing I see when I first pull into the state? I'll let you guess. Go ahead, guess. You're not going to guess. Don't worry about it. A big billboard. I, I, I reached to grab my camera and I couldn't take uh, shoot the video of the billboard as I was passing by. 
but it had two wedding bands or wedding rings on it. And it was one of those anti-LGBT uh, Q or whatever. I, I don't know what all. I don't know what each letter means. But it was one of those signs, the anti ones. It says, "Holy matrimony is made for a man and a woman, not a man and a man." Right on the billboard. I go, "Whoa!" So Ohio does push their agenda, or at least let let that stuff right on the side of the road. It was odd, but. So I guess parts of Ohio are just like Kentucky. Eh, eh, I, I guess it's just spreading. There's some weird. There's just some weird stuff spreading across America right now, and it, it's in a lot of people's attitudes and moods and stuff like. I, I just wish everybody would just live their lives, be happy, and don't worry about what this person over here might be doing. Well, I mean, I could see she's walking her dogs, but why worry about? I, just be there to help them and pick them up when they need it. You don't, you don't need to... I don't know. Things are just changing. And I don't know if it's for the better or worse. I just know it's changing. And for me, seeing it, I just, it just doesn't make me happy sometimes. This is... it's it's We're living in weird times. I don't care what a lot of people say. Things are becoming strange. I have a little bit of time to kill. This is a rest area. I don't think I don't believe it's a welcome center, but there might be something in there. Look at look at a little dachshund. But it's probably not a welcome center. But there might be something about Ohio or something there. I can, ooh, look at that dog. Look at that dog go. Wait, wait, he's coming back. I think she's a driver. She has two pretty good sized dogs in the truck with her. I mean, look at the size of this one. She's got. But yeah, so. Oh, uh oh. This is funny. Watch this. Dogs over here just playing and having fun. And then you get this guy over here. He wants to go play with them and have fun. Look at him. Look at him go. Just let him go. Just let him go. <laughs> he wants to play. <laughs> no, you'll see him. It'll be right over there. You want to go play, right? See, I, I, I speak dog. Yeah, just be good to each other, people. And, and kind of let this stuff go that you see out here in the real world nowadays. Would you look at these? Quick camera up. Don't look at my belly. Look at these planters. Look how large these things are. That must be a gigantic flower of some kind to be in a planter that big. I mean, it's just massive. You get to press a button, and the door will magically open. And yeah, it doesn't look... Ooh, it's air-conditioned, though. It doesn't look like much of anything. It's an awful large building to have nothing inside of it. No, there's something over here. Whoa. Okay, well, you got the bathrooms. And a change machine. Nothing really else. N nothing else in here. No history. No little things on the wall describing the state or something. But it's a pretty massive rest area. Lots and lots of windows. Oh, I can't press. I can't touch that door. Hopefully. Oh, there's a button. Thank God. Yeah, well, I guess I'm just going to call it a day because I don't deliver until 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm only 30 miles away, so I'm just going to head on over, park it, edit this, which is probably going to be pretty boring because it's going to be short. I just didn't really do nothing today. I was kind of hoping I would. I know I would have a few hours before I had to go to bed, but there's really nothing to see. I mean just some driving today was a driving day but like i said i'm going to minnesota from here then black black to florida back to florida for five days off five days off and i'm bringing somebody down from idaho so there should be some decent content there you're gonna see two people meet for the first time get a hotel room hang out and have fun at the theme parks and from what you guys are saying, possibly the beach. 
So I'm going to go ahead and sign off and get everything worked out in my head of how that's going to work. And uh, I will talk to you guys on the next one. I love you all. Peace, everybody.